Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for waking us up this morning and starting us out on our way, Lord God. We ask that you got hearts for this conversation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. What it do, what it do, man. It's your boy Saeed. It's Tom. Big Tom. Thank God. Yes, sir. Yes, and you reached the Call It What You Want podcast. Yes, sir. We're back at it. Yes, We've been sir. gone for a minute, man. Been gone, been gone. How my brother's been doing? Been How my yeah, brother's you know doing? Saying. Hoping no. everybody good. A1. Yeah, yeah, do a daily yeah. check in real quick. Let's do the check in. Yeah, I just want to know, brother Tom, how, how you been? What's since the last time? Hold on. I want to start with Banco because Banco always start this off. Right, <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, let's start man. with Banco, brother Banco. Oh man, you already know. Blessed man, I can't can't complain, man. I cannot complain. It's been rough these last couple weeks though, but still, bro, man. Nonetheless, blessed. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. brother Tom. Yeah, man, I'm solid, bro. No, went through a little something this week, but we all good. We all good. Yeah, big That's dubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big time, man. How yeah, about you, man. bro? Man, it, um, blessed, bro. It was just you know, I was happy to. It's my birthday. You know, yes, I just sir. I was yes, happy sir. to happy, 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 happy birthday. And it was brother Banco birthday. Oh, you yeah, yeah, just recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir. We happy both went to Tulum. To yeah, both. Yeah. We both went to Tulum. Different weeks, different experiences. Like he said it he was, came back with some war scars, huh? Yeah, it was yeah. a lot going on. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I bapped on the motorcycle. You feel bapped. me? Yeah, bapped. Everybody in the bay know like that. You know what that means? I slapped, bro. Like I, it was a wild time, but you know I'm, I'm thankful. I'm, I'm here, I'm going through a lot right now, but less than the least, like my brother said. You know it ain't. It's, it's small peanuts to a giant. You know, yes, all right. peanuts yeah. to an elephant. Right. So. Yeah, we're going to get through it. You know, yes, I got sir. my dogs with me, so I'm yeah, good. Yes, sir, all the time. By the time, how I'm you? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It's been a, since we've been gone, it's been a lot transpired for all of us. So uh, everything been on the up and up, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, very positive, you know. Um, work is not as, I'm doing hella well at work, you feel me? Um, mm. Life's good, bro. Life's yeah. good right now, man. I'm just trying to keep that going, trying to keep that energy up. That's it. That's it, and that's and that's all we can do is keep that positive energy flowing. Um, just you know, stay focused and manifest it. You know, I think nice. we on the right we on the right track, man. Me and my brothers, shout out my brother Q and my brother Knox, man. They couldn't be here today, but you yeah. know they always with us in in spirit. You feel me? They yes, sir. they both out sliding. Um, we don't know. Right. My, my brother Knox might pull up. We never know. Man. Never know. We might catch a little appearance by yeah. brother Knox. You know what yeah. I mean? For surely. But um, man, so wanna do a song of the day real quick? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. exactly man, time. Listen, See, that's man. why you gotta have you right on time. Have in house. Do it. <laughs> man. Right on time. I don't know if y'all y'all know, but we we just dropped a project. Message. We've been dropping all year. We've been dropping all year, <laughs> but we just dropped a project, the crazy one. Just dropped. Yeah. What's the name of it? PTO man, <laughs> PTO oh, baby, PTO pay time off. Oh, you yes. know, we have paid time you know off. We love that. Project from Saeed and your boy Time. You know yeah, what I mean? Fully it's time. Fully produced by fully my produced brother, by your boy Time. Going crazy, time, going man. Yankee Doodle. Yo, man, this man been Saeed working. doing what he do with the bars. Yeah, with the with the hooks. You yeah. feel me? And it's a good it's a good vibe, man. We gonna play y'all a single called Mutual off of that thing. Hot boy. You feel me? And this yeah, is it. This is it. Radio. Right Y'all tap in, man. Play this shit on the radio, man. Shout out to Clay Dove for the hook. Man, my brother my Clay Dove. On the radio, man. My dog, man. Shout out Clay Dove, man. It's hard. And Not this only is, the hook, but man. Just the whole just the whole vibe. The vibe. Man. The he vibe the is vibe. a vibe. And this is it, Summer right? Summer anthem. Mutual. Not a maybe, not a no I have a nigga ears drumming like Sway Lee. Like Sway Sex Lee. game crazy, that other nigga lazy. Couple shots of dark liquor, no chase. I'm not a bank C, baby. If you are come a little closer, come a little maybe closer. I can get to Vicky Secret under fashion no controller. Controller, controller, I'm just trying to take your body for a ride like Corolla. He got you feeling closed in like a cubicle like on me. I'm just sticking to the script like a movie roll. Like get her home and she bouncing it on the totem pole. Uh, Want it from the back, recording it on my mobile phone. Yeah. No, we switching positions just like a mobile home. Uh, baby, ain't Macaulay Coke and call me when she home when alone. She home I'm alone. coming, she coming, we coming again, baby. She running, she running, it's only the tip, baby. Yeah. She say it's all right. Pull up to the spotlight Been running through the stoplights We ready for a long night You tell me it's 
told me I was your friend But boundaries we crossing I don't mind if we mutual friends Mutual friends Yeah, she want me Yeah A nigga like, can I get some time in? Say she wanna take a nigga out for the weekend. Get freaky, say I make her come easy. Ready to get it? Man, mm-hmm. banger, banger, mm-hmm. banger. The ladies love it. The girls adore it. <laughs> 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 nah, yeah, nah, for real, yes, man. Sir, that's yeah, that mutual love. by Sai, produced by Time, featuring it's Clay Dub and Justin Time. Yes, so yeah. y'all go play that PTO. Pay time off on all platforms right now. Man, yes. and, tell, and yes. tell them a little, uh, not to go by too. time. I'm oh, sorry, yeah, artwork. Not to cut you off. Well, we got to give give my brother all his flowers. Man. Like I said, this man been working. He, yeah, time been, <laughs> been going <laughs> crazy. Like, yes, sir. Since yes, last, sir. I'll say since like since March of last year, time has been going retarded. March of last year. Y'all know what happened March of last year. Yeah. Watch your mouth. Yeah, Yeah, look, watch your mouth. March of last year. Like, time just got focused and really just been, he's grinding, grinding, bro. Like, so I definitely got to give my brother his flowers. I'm a witness to Um, that, man. I see this man working all the time, bro. Yeah. He yeah, for sure. Bitch, I'm grinding. Yeah. Too, <laughs> and, and and even tell him Tom a little bit about PTO, not to get, even man, go deep. Uh, how we how did how did we manifest it? How did it come about? How long ago was it? What we did? We had, man, was, honestly, this music is about three years old, bro. Um, we rec- we recorded a lot of this shit in 2019, as far as like writing and putting it down, and it was just something that we just organically came up with, just sitting in my nigga Saeed crib. It's like, damn, bro, we need a different vibe. Just give the people something different. Yeah. And, you know, we just kind of just really, he really freestyled a lot of the shit. For real. Um, and shit, I think Mutual is the only thing that was actually really written out. You That's feel a me? fact. Uh, but outside of that, bro, the beats and everything was all just, we just Cooked came up with spot. it on the spot. You feel me? Yeah. This was like, let's do something organic. Let's do something that ain't already premeditated. Let's just go off the, off the cuff and. That's yeah. what we came with, came up with, and there's so much more in the ch- in the chamber. So, you crazy. feel me? We got so much oh, more to crazy. bring y'all, but this is yeah. just a little preview of what we've been cooking up for the last few years. Yeah, so, and sh- and shout out my crazy. brother Bam for the first mix. We drove yes, all the way up to uh, to Chico, Chico man. for sure. Eight hours to go record this project. You feel me? Yeah. That was the first mix that we did, Thanks. and it was, and that's where we got like a lot of the concepts originally on this song, Mutual. Me and we, Time was singing. We were singing a hook for sure. That, that was, and it wasn't that hook. It was yeah. a whole different, whole hook. different hook, whole different hook. It was still, mm-hmm. but still a little bit of the hook that was in there. Yeah, but added Clay yeah. Dub came in and added his sauce. You feel me? Added flavor. the sauce, Gave it a bro. More flavor. Yeah. Gave it that wow. flavor, yeah. boy. And yeah. crazy. That, that's really what bro- took the song Y'all over. Crazy. Like it was like, oh, yeah, right, right. And shit, he he brought that hook. We had our ver- we had to go redo our verses, like at, as far as recording, just to yeah. match the energy. So, yeah, he Clay Dub was really the energy that brought the song out for real. Mm-hmm. That's love. Shout, appreciate appreciate Clay Dub, Shout out to Clay Dub, man. Shout out to Clay, man. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. So. Let's what's been let's going get into on, this man. Shit, man. What's going on? What's these been days, going on man? out here, man? It's it's been a lot going on. I mean, it's just been a lot of you know, it's just a lot of things, a lot of topics that people have sent us. Shout out everybody that sent us topics that uh, tapped Appreciate in y'all. with us because we definitely uh, posted it on the IG and and a lot of people um, tapped in with us and gave us some topics. So we're just gonna try to get to everybody topics um, as fast as we can. But right now we. You know, we got a few topics we want to talk about. We just go one by one. Yeah. Let's get it popping. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Woman says she never put her child's father on child support. Mm-mm-mm. I would rather work harder. What'd she say? I would rather work harder. Women are trying to fund their lifestyle. Mm. Huh. Let's listen to it. Yeah, Let's listen what to what she say, say and give our... Give our gone we have to communicate because i believe in family so until one of those things happen that man needs to be your friend 
And you can't build a friendship when you get the courts involved to put him on child support to make these small ass payments because you're low key living off the payments. Child support to be spiteful and to, you know, try to help maintain their life. I'm not built for that, okay? I would rather just work a little bit harder and deal with the headache of having to work a little bit harder or go a little bit harder than to put my baby daddy on child support. I'm not doing it. I'm not putting my baby father. I'll never put my baby father. All right. How y'all feel about that? <laughs> I respect it. I respect that too, for sure. Bad respect. Man. I know, I know. I definitely respect now, see, that. See, it's man. certain, like, it's certain, to me, child support work in certain ways. Like, if yeah. you got just a deadbeat father and the nigga's not present, a okay, child, child support is ideal. But mm. niggas like us in our kids' lot, you feel me? Like, it's no reason for yeah, you know, if, a, if a man's in his kid's life and he's trying, he's actively trying to be in his kid's life, there's mm. no reason for a yeah. woman to put that dude on child support at all. Yeah. You know? Um, and it just even not being able to, I think it's just like the key word she said was spiteful. Yeah, sure. She said, yeah. and she, and this is a woman saying this, you know, where it's like, don't, I'm not going to be spiteful. And she was talking about living off the money. Not every woman is just living, living off, off the, the money. money. I'm yeah, not no. saying that, that sure. all, all women, right. but people will put the courts and put the, put them in your business just to be spiteful to like control you. It can right. be a form of control. Like, oh, like you, like you said, oh, I don't, you know, I'm just going to make you do what I want you to do. Like be a part of whatever web or whatever I'm in and you not going to get to just walk away. Yeah. You know, if right. you, we break up or whatever. And it's 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 not cool, man. Child support. It, now, if a dude say I ain't giving you no money, like I'm about to go over here, live my life and whatever. Now that's a difference. You feel me? That's a deadbeat, like yeah. Tone said. But I'm talking about people that's actually in their kids' life and putting that bag up or spending time with them, quality time. For what? Like you, it's it's all a form of control. So, you know, um, the. The women that put men on child support for no reason and spiteful and vindictively, you get no shout out. And hey, that's right. on you. That that if hell, if you're doing it vindictively, your karma is gonna come. So, no matter what he did, if he hurt you a thousand times, no matter if he lied, he cheated, whatever. If he's doing what he's supposed to do and be in his kid's life, like you know, right? It's no yeah. reason why you should do that to him. You yeah, me? facts. To control him. So facts. You know, but he's he gonna prevail in the end. Hopefully, For my sure. young, my black king, you feel me? Prevail. Don't let it just hold you down. Keep your mind elevated. Just know this too shall pass, and you're gonna right. win in the end. Every time. You know, you're gonna comments, elevate. Bank, it's greater later. That's what my, my OG just told me. He was like, man, it's gonna get greater later. Yeah, as so. we just said, yeah, because child support is with deadbeat moms, dads. If you're active, loving provider on both ends, mm -hmm. then just co parent. Yeah, it's that simple. Yeah, y'all came That's together they, to create. Yeah, y'all can come together to co-parent. Come on. That's what they come always on. say till later on. Common. That's real though. Come together, create. Exactly. Never understood this logic. Yep. Yeah, that's a real comment. That, you know. See how well this clip ages. Let's come back to this in two years. Hmm. Okay. Need I mean, more I, be and wives, I believe her though. Look what she pushing. You feel me? Like, I mean, see, I look need, at her. Period. You feel me? Like. Yeah, you got a good baby daddy, and not everybody does, so it works for who it works for. But it sounds like bitter baby, bitter baby daddy syndrome, man. Mm. Bitter baby daddy syndrome. I never heard of I that. Never one, heard of that a, one either. That's you gotta a, Google that one. Yeah, that's that sounds <laughs> deep. It sounds real too. It's a lot. A lot of y'all walking around with it. Ooh, Get that head about your heart. I feel you. Right here. Nah, I feel him, bro. I have my kids and I'm still paying the system oh God. To set up against us. Hey, that's a fact. Get these white folks in our business, man. Child support is a non-custodial parent's obligation, whether that be the man or the woman. I legit never understand this debate. Okay, I understand. I, I get both sides. Yeah. I feel every word. Never took my son and father to ch child support. Active father. Exactly. Active father. Child support, mediation, it don't matter. You getting these people in your business, fam. You don't get it. Mm, you know? A lot right here. I made sure I had a kid I could afford to provide on my own just in case it uh, didn't work out with the father. I didn't ask my son's father for anything except to spend much time with him as he wants and can. Do what you want for him 
Uh, yeah, I mean, she's saying some real shit. I like her. What like she that. say? Do what you want for him, but uh, no, if you don't have anything to give him, he's taken Take care, care of. of. And no, we're not sleeping together or anything else. We get along great. The relationship just didn't work as well. He's a good dad to his son. And that's my only requirement, co-parents. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, you feel you me? On that good that's the type real. of time you're supposed to be sure. on. No matter if it didn't work, he, you cheated. Whatever he did to her, she forgave him. So that's what it's supposed to be. Forgave him and moved on. And moved on with her life. That. You got to separate the relationship between uh-huh. you and, and, the, and her. Facts. And the kid and him. That's a fact. That's just what it is. Like. Yeah. It's not the same. And it's, it's not like, the same. And, and but a lot of I'm not gonna say I ain't gonna say all women, but a lot of women prioritize the relationship over the child. Facts. You know what I mean? Just Big because facts. just because I didn't or just because it's not the fact that we didn't love each other unconditionally. Maybe we found out we can't we like it just couldn't work. Yeah. We not compatible. We're we not, not compatible. We're not compatible. Yeah, we do so we're not aligned. Why right? would you try to stop my unconditional love between me and my son or daughter? That right. doesn't make no so sense. Fact. Right. And that ain't that's what I'm saying, spiteful. man. Spiteful. Spiteful, vindictive. Very is like, okay. But ain't nobody the only person that's really getting hurt is the is the baby. Yeah, the kid. The dad Honestly. might be hurt, but he ain't getting hurt as nearly as much as the baby's being hurt. Right. Because the baby's torn and now you doing You gotta all grow this. up a yeah. certain way. It ain't Two right. Two households. Like, yeah. That's not cool. But then the woman will can on the on the same token, like say say it is where it's, it's something like where it was infidelity. They can be like, Well, you broke up the home. You the reason why this is going like this because of what you did. Mm-hmm. Just so, because y'all not together don't mean the bro the, the home is broken. Right. I mean, y'all can be co parents and it still be Facts. Facts. Functional Facts. home. Yeah, exactly. It's all about your mindset. Exactly. It's the mindset of the people, the two individuals involved at the end of the day. Yeah. The kids don't know what's going on. They don't. I don't, I've never understood anybody being bitter. Yeah. When, if you're bitter, that means you want to be with the person. So if you yeah. want to be with the person, then you just got to, you got to, you know, go through the bullshit. Like, yeah. It's certain people that just, Act the way they act, and yeah. you either gonna deal with it or you're not. Or you're not, yeah. yeah. But if you if you decide not to, but you still bitter, that doesn't make any sense. No, it makes no exactly. sense. Exactly. <laughs> right. You're right, man. So shout out all the daddies, man. That's you know, or the mamas and daddies that that's getting along, that's putting their they pride to the side, their differences to the side for the betterment of the child. Shout out to all of y'all. You feel me? Because we need more of that. You know. So. And yeah, what's the what's the, what's another what's the next topic? A lot of men aren't used to women genuinely caring about them. Ah, how y'all feel about that, my my brothers? I mean, <laughs> outside of my mama, yeah. Mm-hmm. And sometimes your mama care about you, but she don't like. Sometimes your mom might not be affectionate mm-hmm. enough. You know, that's a fact. My mama wasn't the most affectionate mama. Like, I love my mama to death, you feel me? But she was very hard. Yeah, and that's the only way she knew. She thought she could raise me or had to yeah. raise me. Yeah. You know? So, I think, but uh, but even with that, in that regard, I think that has a lot to do with me not being as affectionate sometimes as an yeah, adult. definitely. As a, you know, with women. Because I've had women be like, oh, you're not affectionate enough. You're not this and that. But you can be. I've witnessed yeah. you do it, but you don't. You not just off the back doing it. I'm like nah, because sometimes I'd be like, Shh. like man, I I was raised a certain way. My mama was hard, so it'd be like I'm just like I expect. Like sometimes you don't have these expectations, but you just be like, look, like, you gonna have to thug it out. I had to thug it out. You feel me? So sometimes I'm I'm just I don't want to get too attached. You know, I feel like once you become hella affectionate, you you become you get more attached. Yeah, I but I'm like working on it. I'm working on it, man. You think that's a defense mechanism? I think so. I think yeah, it could be a defense mechanism. Um, but but uh, even saying that, I think a lot of us just gotta unlearn and relearn things. Yeah, you know, yeah. Regardless of what you grew up and you had to deal with, you gotta unlearn and relearn it, and you gotta want to try to do it. Like you can't just sit here and be like, well. All the victims of circumstances. This is what happened. We 
going, you know, I think you gotta, you gotta, you gotta want to get better. So yeah, I agree. You know, men and women, regardless of what you've been through, try to get better. You know. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Try to get one percent better every day. But as far it. as this statement, I agree. Why do Why do you feel that? Then why? look, then they say, then they self sabotage. I feel like, cause a lot of men self sabotage. I know I have before. I'm an open book, so y'all hear me talking. Sometimes it's from experience. Sometimes it's just from people around me that I know that I've watched or raised know, by yeah, sur- I don't survival know and not love. Raised on survival and not love. Man, that's that's, that's crazy. That's I never heard that shit. One. That's the realest shit right there, bro. A raised lot of us. Survival. A lot of us was raised off of just knowing. Being able to survive, bro. Shout out to her. Damn. You feel me? I never, yeah, I never thought, like, I never thought. Because I, 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 like, even for myself, like, I didn't see what love was like. Damn, only women, Ooh, children, we. and dogs are loved unconditionally. Yeah. Oh, man, a man is loved only under loved. the condition. Chris Rock, I remember Chris Rock, right, yeah. I remember only that. loved under the condition that he provides something. That's Chris a fact. Rock. Shout out to oh, the women man. that's not, you know, that don't, because some women will be like, that's, that's not crazy. true. Um, but that's exactly why y'all uh, end up with who y'all end up with. It's me being ignorant or not, but I don't care. What? You don't care I, about what? I don't I just don't like if women care about you? Yeah, I don't care. I care about myself. I got someone else I need to care for. So like Fuck right, you right. bitch, if you don't care about me, you don't care about me, whatever. Go, <laughs> go do something yeah, else. With the, Savage. Yeah, with the, with the, go do something else. Hey, I I I don't know if that's me. Not feeling like I've not been cared about, or I don't know. I just don't care. But see, that's what I was asking. I'm like, is that like? Do you think that way to keep yourself from? Is it a defense? Is it a defense mechanism? It it, it It has to be. Is that something to keep yourself from getting too close, getting too attached to somebody else? Because if you get attached, bro, people will let you down, bro. Being let down, obviously. I, I mean. I mean, but you could still know. you could still be in a relationship and still have your boundary. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, no, nah, but I'm scared saying, like, of there vulnerability. Was, yeah. I, that's what. Mm. Is that, are you scared to be vulnerable? vulnerable. Possibly. Yeah. yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying. See, I'm possibly could be. Yeah, but sometimes I am vulnerable. But I feel like you know what it is. I think it's because men will be vulnerable, and we always once we become vulnerable. Somebody try to take advantage of us. Bro, she can yeah. throw back in your face. Man, woman, it don't matter uh-huh. who it is. And that's what we always afraid of. So that, we that, that 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 one moment where we're able to let let go and give you a little piece of something that we don't I normally think I spoke about this on here one we did. time. Uh bro, either one time I cried in front of a female, bro. Mm-hmm. That shit got thrown back in my face right then yeah. and there, bro. Never again. It was a while ago, never again. Can't do it. And it's crazy because somebody just asked me that you know that little anonymous shit. Somebody just asked me on the ground, when's the last time you cried? I think that was the last time I like shed a really shed a tear. See? Yeah, I saw that. Like, hey, they be like, they be saying some wild stuff on bro, that. Bro, that's, that's why I'm shit. not ever doing that. Wow. I will never do it again. To, bro. I didn't I even to do it. I, I didn't even pay shit. attention to the other <laughs> ones. Some bro. boring shit the other night, and I was like, Same. wow. Same, <laughs> bro. Wild, yo. <laughs> I was like bet. I, I see what y'all on. Yeah. One said she tried suck my dick from the back. I ain't gonna <laughs> <that. Yeah. laughs> This nigga uh, crazy. Man, I like bro. It up a little bit. Hey, what, we, <laughs> what we got here? Man, know your worth. Okay. This is what we talking about. Worth, know your worth. But we act like men aren't supposed to know their worth. And people take issue when a man knows his worth. Men should know their worth just as much as a woman. You have to understand you have value here. You are just as important to this relationship as she is. So just as you need to give to her, she needs to give to you. It's a two-way street. And, and, and I think more importantly, you have to get to a point where you are not afraid if she walks away from you. Yeah, the good. reality is that men, especially good men, get caught up in the fear of losing her, that they do everything in their power to keep her, not realizing that now, Rather than losing her, you're losing yourself. Society's on. Come on. Talk that shit. Come on, man. Talk that shit. We got to stand up for the black men, man. For for just men in general, but especially our black men. Because it's like, bro, we, like you say, man, we, you will get accustomed. Like, and I think that's why we got these defense mechanisms. 
feel me? And we have we we scared to be vulnerable because it's like, like you say, you will start living for a woman mm-hmm. and lose yourself. Yeah. Because hmm. you doing mm-hmm. everything she wants you to do, everything how in, in according to her and her her vision and this and that. Trying to and do everything like, to, just to keep her happy and you yeah. not being you not even happy. And you be miserable, bro. I've been through that. I have to. It's not it. Not, not. Like, and I don't care. <laughs> and I'm not about to be one of these people that's miserable for 40 years in a marriage, right. in a, yeah, in a, in a no, relationship, and don't nah, want to really bro. be with that, that person, and only doing it because of whatever, like whatever mm-hmm. circumstance. No, I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. I choose me. And you can say <laughs> you got to choose you, like mm-hmm. you know. You can say that's selfish, but no. Come on, can you? Come on. You can't. <laughs> it, it, it ain't selfish, man. It's it's because if first of all if. If I'm not happy, I can't be who I need to be for you. You get me? Like if I if if I'm over here, you know, I'm miserable. How can I be the person that you need me to be? Because I'm not gonna do it to that best ability that that you want me to. Because I'm yeah. I'm not happy. Facts. Yeah. So, <laughs> that shit said ironically. You know? Yeah. You <laughs> Wait, seen come that back shit? up. That shit said that ironically. Shit. Go down. Yeah. Ironically, when you're not afraid to lose her, she stays. <laughs> Man, <laughs> that's real though. For real. When you, man, I just see somebody who went through some shit like this. So yeah, it's kind of yeah. funny. Because when you, you when you afraid to lose her, she a dip on your ass. Guy, she like, oh, I got this. Trying to lose one right Look now. This bro. guy. You, you mean when you don't care to lose her, you should never uh, fear losing a problem. Just get rid of it like a used car with issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it runs, but for how long? That's true. Yo, son. This is gospel. <laughs> I'm telling you. You said it all. I don't even have to comment. Every man uh, breathing air must know this. I mean, come on. How many like, times you get more attention from the girl that you don't want? You don't want. <laughs> they own you. They own your <laughs> shit. Own your shit. Why are you not yeah. talking to me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to chill with you. I'm about to. Yeah, y'all, not, chill. Yeah, y'all gotta chill. <laughs> no, I'm not. just saying though. No, that's the real though. Like niggas was in high school, and that one minute that you didn't really want to fuck with kept hitting your line. You like, why she keep hitting me? Bro. Now, you shit came over the time and was like, what's mm-hmm. good, time? Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Oh, I'm I'm good. I'm good, baby girl. <laughs> I try to throw the kid shit out. I, like, I got a kid. They own it though. Yeah, what that? What? Bro, oh, just with baby weird, yesterday. Bro. You know how many comments I got, <laughs> bro? I'm already from doing. different races, different men and women. They like, damn. You know, like, like, bro. I love to see this. Yeah. And then bro. women like, oh my god, he's so yes, cute. Oh, you want me to take pictures? You need me to help you? Da, da, da. Bro. This is by yeah. myself. People just all offering. Like, what, oh, let me take a picture was, for where, you. Where was we at with all the when we went to uh? Oh. To the uh, 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 in Carson was that in Carson? Yeah, when we was with all the kids, took all the kids. I was just telling my coworkers this today. I say, look, I was like, when I, I say when when me and my niggas when we go out, me and my boys, my brothers, and we bring all the babies together, and they see all these black fathers together, bro. Mm-hmm. We shut the restaurants down, shut everything down, cause yeah. they be like, I I've never seen five six black fathers coming here this deep <laughs> with their kids, with they kids. <laughs> and they Fire. by themselves. That's what we about, no, no we mamas. Need, and it's like we need to do that. We got to do that sometime. Yeah. We, we, it's not always. I, like, I understand it's a family unit. You are gonna always do stuff with your your significant other or with the mom. I understand that or with your wife. But sometimes it's like the like a woman will take their kids out by themselves all the time. Yeah. Every Why can't time. a man do it? You feel me? And, and all the black fathers go pull up together. And it's like that shit. That looks amazing. Mm-hmm. Cause they sure. see like we changing the narrative. Like you're not going to give us this narrative. Mm-hmm. You know? So talk after this because, you know, Q shit is coming up. Oh, like yeah. Next week. Next week? Yeah. Next week. Christ. But what? We'll talk about it off offline. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See? So that's what I'm saying. We got to. We gotta get it. We gotta get our our minds right, Black Kings, and, and, right. and tap queens. in. Like if you a Black father out there, please. Shit. Yeah, fact. We could all link up and do some shit. Like for real, for sure. You in L.A. You a Black father. You in the L.A. area, even just SoCal. You feel me? Like the more the merrier, because the sky's the limit. 
yeah. more people you can put together. Yeah, we pulling up. We gonna pull up deep. We gonna pull up strong. We gonna pull up, you know, wherever we going. Theme parks, fairs, mm-hmm. parks, restaurants. We pulling up and we changing the narrative, and that's what we need to do. Just show that we we don't mind taking our kids with us. And then we got Uncle Time with us. Uncle you know Time. We big, got Uncle big. Time. Uncle Time. Oh, I got all the nieces this and nephews. Got She's all the nieces got, and nephews. I'm to telling show. you, like, real all talk, at least seven, oh, yeah. eight, nine big nieces nah, and nephews. Not like 15, 20 15, nieces. And nephews, damn near bro. 20. Yeah. He babysit show. everybody for the weekend. He's going to need a 15 seat. Uncle Time for he real. He's going to need the sprinter. Yeah. <laughs> Look, yeah, I'm going to say he need a personal sprinter. Yeah. Hey, listen, I take all donations for the sprinter. Hey, You feel me? Car seats. Go fund right, me, bro. You feel me? All like, of it. Time pulling up with us, bro. Like, that's a real, real uncle. He, oh, man, yes, what, what's sir. up? I'm going, my nieces and nephews going over here. Like, hey, I'll yep. pull up to the park. Yep. I'll pull up yep. to the restaurant Easy. just to pull up. Mm-hmm. That's a real brother. Like, you feel me? So, yeah, y'all pull up, tap in with us. We also got Biking with Banco coming soon. Uh oh. soon. Biking with Banco. Coming soon. Coming soon. Uh-oh. Coming soon. Get your yeah. bikes. Yeah, for yeah. all you fathers, grab your bikes, man. We're riding out. Riding out, bro. Like we gon' we gonna get this the health, we're gonna get the wealth, we're gonna spend time with our kids. Cause yes, hey, sir. that's what it's about, dog. Yes, um, sir. What else we oh, I know we got some more topics, couple more. All right. It says, Would you date someone you are not physically attracted to? Oh physically attracted like body type type shit yeah, or physically. face. Uh, like, uh, honestly, <laughs> like I'm not really I'm not really like a physical type of person. Like I mean you yeah, she you right face stuff. Face right, is okay, physical, yeah, bro. Yeah. But I they, mean like body type, no, I don't see, I don't really care. See the thing is is date, no. Smack, yeah. <laughs> I'm just being one hundred. Like fit like yeah. I mean, like okay, I've been I've hit big girls. Yeah. That the that nigga be like, man. You had a big baby. She was a big girl. And it's like, I probably wouldn't date her and go out. And I ain't saying there's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's nothing wrong with big girls because big girls, y'all, hey. Y'all do y'all thing. Y'all do y'all thing. All right, maybe you I know? was lying. You Especially if you point. smell good and you be fly and shit. <laughs> hey, you said you I know good. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Listen. Come on. I'm maybe single. I can say what I want to say. Fact. You know what I mean? It be smelling good. I ain't going to lie. Telling you. So, yeah, them big, big girls. It's, or I done hit a, a mud duck. Her face like face bad. It's like, eh, it was a drunk night. It was a clear black night. A clear black moon. <laughs> you feel me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was. Hey, you had a zip for drove. Yeah, that's oh, hell. Yeah. yeah, for sure. A couple hell. of condoms and he knocked I mean, them go. <laughs> yeah, bro, you gotta think like niggas went to two colleges. Niggas done been traveling around yeah. the world. Niggas yeah. frat. Yeah. Like I, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't yeah. experience life. Listen, every, I feel yes. like every yes. real nigga didn't hit a mud duck at yes, one point bro, in, in your life. lifetime. I don't care Allegedly. who you is. Allegedly. Right. <laughs> That's facts, bro. I don't care who you are, but I feel like everybody. A mudly duck. Everybody, everybody, is everybody is like. women, women, you know, they it progressed. It, it progressed. Yeah. You feel now, just me? Just to be it started mud at one spot. Now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Yeah, that, it's man. bad, you brother. Wild. You know, but, yeah. Got to be in your past life. Your grown years, that's. Yo, but dating years. is different. Dating is like I'm yeah. actually cordially taking you out. We going on dates. We going, you know, maybe going on trips together. It's like I don't know. Mm. Going, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. I'm, I'm not physically, not physically attracted. attracted to her. I, uh, nah. I, but I feel like it's, real, it's niggas that's man. out no. here doing that shit just to go because they, they maybe maybe she got the bag and she's spoiling him and doing all this. So those are couch warriors. Yeah, Definitely. like Definitely. Don't have that going for that. Yeah, shout out to <laughs> I ain't never heard of that. Shout out the million dollars worth of game. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Shout out Gilly. Cause these niggas don't got no wild. motion and shit. You know, mm. so they out here like, man, a baby gonna buy me this and tax season coming. You know how them type yeah, of yeah. Yeah. she gonna nah. give me the PS5. Yeah, yeah. broke yeah. broke nigga uh energy. Yeah, yeah. Sir, I yeah. know I know all some he, all he got is the E B T, so you know That ain't no B D E ladies. Yeah. That ain't the B D E. No, that ain't mm. that ain't it. You know, Dang. so that's why I say it's like a lot of these dudes out here using these, you know, women that they not like physically love, attracted fuck. to. Right. I'm not into that. I'm not. I'm not about to do that. No, nah. I'm good on that. So, no, nah, I don't think I would date you. Yeah, can't date nobody. I'm not physically attracted. It's a no for me, dog. I know. You really gotta be a warrior. All mm-hmm. right, it's a quote from Meek tweet. 
from Meek says, you really got to be a warrior out here if you got something going for yourself as a black man. Y'all wouldn't understand the shit we do to stay alive and out of jail in our culture and still remain with a good head on our shoulders. Come on. That's a fact. Boy, listen, if that ain't the real shit in the world right there that I read today. For real, like. I can stand. A warrior. Because it's like black men, like we are the ones that are targeted. I don't care. In America, we're targeted. And I feel like all around the world. For sure. By everyone and everybody. Everyone and everybody. Black man. I don't care if you from whatever part of the world you is. And if you black and your skin is black, you're going to get targeted. Yes, sir. More than anybody else, you know? So, uh, someone of a a lighter skin pigment. You know? So, yeah, bro. uh, Look at see uh, Charlemagne said... Pray for the divine protection today and every day, my brothers. Protect your peace at all times. It's a fact. Protect your peace, man. We got to protect our peace. And that's what I think, man, we, we, we've we become accustomed to not, our peace doesn't matter, you know? It's like, oh, we can't be, we can't have our peace because we have to, like, do everything for everybody else. We got to yeah. be that person for everybody else. Yeah, Superman. The provider. That shit is out. Those days is getting slim to none. Got to be the backbone. What L L say? That. Uncle L L, bro, that nigga Uncle might L. be looking crazy, bro. <laughs> he like he Mike wanna punch Tyson, on right bro. Now, bro. He like he want to punch on this nigga right, for bro. real. L don't look safe. <laughs> yeah, I hate that. Look, no woman is gonna be happy with you chasing her ass all the time. Like all yeah. the time. I'm not yeah. talking about in the beginning when you guys are coming together. I'm talking about if you live your life chasing a woman and showing up at her doorstep and having flowers and shit and violins and, you know, all that shit, you're killing yourself. Yeah. The relationship is not going to last. The reality is you, when you buy your way in and you become a provider and you just become like a like you represent provision, that's not the same as being sexually stimulated. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That like out. representing provision and just being a guy, yo, I'm going to buy you a bunch of shit. Yo, that, that's yeah. weak. I ain't See, never a guy, buy, a guy that never a guy, buy nobody guys shit that again. use money, guys that use money, <laughs> never do guys that, that use again. money to to sustain their relationships and use money to get their way in. That's yeah, that was me. That's it's weakness. Fuck, take yeah. It's weak I mean, because it you don't believe in you enough. Yeah, you right. you trying no to use way. money. Yeah. Yeah. You, know what I'm you gotta be you. That. The money the money is an exclamation mark. Yeah. The money makes you more of whatever you already are. But you gotta bring something to the table. Look, that's a fact. I agree with that. Speak that shit. Niggas that use money as tools, man. As a tool. It's a lot of them out here. You know? That's weak, bro. Like, I'm, yeah, I I'm never was like that. So, I don't know. That's I don't, why I, I don't understand, understand the, uh, the, the concept of a woman strictly chasing a man for money. Because it's like, that's not going to last. Like, yeah. how mm-hmm. do you find how do you find value in that? Like, it's there's no... The value is going to end because all you want is material shit at right. the end of the day. Right. So you buy this new Balenciaga purse or whatever the fuck, by the end of the day, you still going to want some other shit. Mm-hmm. Right. Exactly. There's not that many things in the world to last you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, you know. It'll never be enough because never now be I enough. know you're going to do it for me, so I'm going to just... I'm going to keep going, going harder and harder, and then when you can't provide it, I'm going to treat you like shit. You know, or I'm going to leave and find somebody else that's provided. It's like, I'm not doing that, bro. I'm not about to buy you. You better buy that on your own Balenciaga purse. <laughs> For real. Mm-hmm. Uh, curb me for a nigga that got you taking baby pictures, a uh, baby shower pictures by yourself. God don't make no mistakes. <laughs> this is a big titty demon. <laughs> this is just something that we seen on, on, you know, on IG. Her response uh, was, niggas want somebody to settle for them so bad. Just find somebody who actually likes you back instead of being bitter. Huh. Mm. Damn. Jeez. Ouch. Is that it? Then another nigga says, when a nigga tweet his genuine feelings, y'all clown him. When a woman does it, y'all hype her up. Come on. Come on. Jeez. This is the problem. That's the problem right there. A man, we can't we can't be genuine. I agree with Ariana, man. Or what? What Ariana said, oh yeah. Are I mean, men and women tired of yeah, <laughs> for Fight real. Every day, oh, every day? Every, it's every day. Something every day on social media about men and women not getting, not agreeing. And it's like we have to coincide yeah, with it's each mostly, other. it's mostly our own people, bro. It's for real, and that's the sad shit. shit. It's usually for real? black shit, for real. Like that's Look, sad. It's like 
niggas, like niggas. Curve because me for a nigga. Niggas want somebody when a nigga tweet. See? And and <laughs> it's, and it's all. <laughs> I bet Read those it, bro. Is... meatballs and baby showers busted though. <laughs> <laughs> at the baby shower. The meatballs at the baby shower, they probably is though. Vinny said, uh, he said what he said. And so did the guy, the other guy, period. Okay, yeah. I stand with bro. Um, at least she curved you. At least she curved She, she could have done both, both of y'all. y'all. Yeah. Um, I'm not yeah. looking at it that way. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like, why does he care? He should have been off of her the minute she curved him. Yeah. But women, I mean, y'all well, care. But still, I mean, like, like still, I was though. Just it's like, say, I was just going to say that, bro. Like, women be mad at a nigga that curved them, too. Mm-hmm. Yep. Be on that nigga when the bitch... Fuck him over. So it's the yeah. same concept, bro. Mm-hmm. It's like, damn, we can't say that out loud, but y'all can. Right. Come on. Y'all can express that. But once we do it, we a bitch nigga or we soft, we, we weak, all this other shit. Yeah. Y'all do it. We can't say nothing to y'all about so it. Somebody said he's still hurt. Move on, King. You'll get what's deserving. Come on. That's what I'm saying, man. A man can't never be hurt. <laughs> but not be hurt. Like, like, think about it. Think about it. And Imagine not- this nigga... I'm just hyped that imagine bro came across like Rihanna or some shit. And then Rocky curved Rihanna. Cause she cur but she curved him. And he could have took care of her. Yeah. You feel me? Like, think about it like that. You'd be hurt years later, nigga. Like, nigga, she bad. Man. Like, she you feel me? Years later, hurt. Yeah. This nigga probably she was probably that bad, bro. She That's what I'm saying. Like years later, he probably like, damn, this bitch fucked up. Why she go? Mm-hmm. Man, yeah, it be like that though. Yeah. Live and you learn, bro. Move on, my brother. Move on. Right. Uh, you you need to stop what you do. If you're a parent, you need to stop what you're doing and listen to this child speak. What this child talking about? Right. And this is for to you. Be your best friend. And what does it look like? Talking about. I mean, we wanna we wanna hear what you say. <laughs> Somebody's over here. Smiley coming. up for discussion everything was up for discussion because my mama she a real understanding person so it was literally a conversation i had growing up with me i'm a real knowledgeable knowledgeable person i like to know a lot of stuff so i literally so the way i would come across and say things she'll be like i know you're not coming from a, a standpoint of um you trying to be disrespectful to people but some people don't understand you how i understand you so you might have to correct yourself so I literally had a conversation with my mom. I was like, okay, I'm going to tell you stuff and stop me when I get disrespectful. I express my feelings, but that don't happen with everybody. And so when I was standing up here and you guys were like, don't belittle your children, but the whole statement of you're not on my level, level sounds like belittlement to us. It's saying you're not as, you don't have as much value as me. You're not as important to me. You don't put up what I put up. So you can't have a say so in what we do. Mm. You don't pay bills. You don't, you don't own this house. You don't pay for nothing. <laughs> so, and it's, oh, it's sounds, good. And it, <laughs> go, ahead. go ahead, go ahead. And, when you make when you bring up the stuff that you do for your children it makes us feel like a burden it makes us feel like i can't wait till i grow up so i don't have to be a burden to you anymore if you say it's like it's like when you like when people be like your parents had a life before you it makes you feel like i made you so miserable and bitter and like i just don't want to be here anymore because you don't want me to be here anymore so why should i be here and put my best foot forward if the person who gave birth to me made me come in this life doesn't want me how am i supposed to look at somebody else for love if i feel like i'm not getting love at home what do you do when you want to have somebody to talk to but they they like you can't talk to them. You go to somebody else to talk to, and that's not who you want us to talk to. How if, am I supposed to come and talk to you, and you don't listen to me, but somebody else may listen to me, but they not go treat me how you want me to be treated? You love me, but you don't show it. But they don't love me, but they act like they love me. So I'm going to go to the person that acts like they love Jeez. me, and not the person who. <laughs> I'm going to go to the person who acts like they love me, because when you when you grow up. 
like this and you grow up with people who emotionally stunt your growth, you go looking for other people and you insecure. You go looking for other people for sex, for people who are going to tell you, oh, you're pretty. That's why the first person to tell you you're pretty, I'm glad my mama never, they say your parent and your family is your first bully. Point out every insecurity you have and then you want to, you want your kids to feel beautiful and smart and go to school with people who telling them the same thing you tell them. That's not going to work. You can't. You can't want to be your children's love and shelter, but you're not that. That's materialistic things. If God was only materialistic to you, you will feel hurt. You need to have your spirit be healed. You need to have your spirit be fed. It's okay to have clothes and shoes and all this stuff, but what about my spirit? What about my emotions? What about my mental state? You can't be, you, you look pretty on the outside. You got me nice shoes. You got me nice things, but I'm struggling on the inside. One and some people want to commit suicide, but they look good on the outside. Y'all focus on the outside so much that you don't take the time. You say you listen to your children, but nine times out of 10, you're not really listening because we don't feel safe. You say you create a safe space, but that's nine times since it's not true. Because even though my parents never hit me or they never threatened to hit me, the they words hurt even worse. It, were you telling me, uh, I'm, you never say you disappointed in me, but your body language show it all. Mm -hmm. You you look at me like I'm just some, like you can't believe I, you raised this. Some people say to tell kids, I can't believe I raised somebody like this. Well, if you raised me so so beautifully that you shared me with, how come I ended up like this? It's a lot of things that go into having a kid. And some people don't even, some people res end up resenting their kids when they have them too young or they have them with the wrong person. And some people just realize that you sometimes it's too late to recognize the trauma because when you get older and I don't have to spend time with you, how often do you see me? When I don't have to live with you no more, how often do you see me? When mm. I have my, some people get jobs, some people will hang out with friends' house because they don't want to go home and you don't, you refuse to recognize that you yourself have caused your child's trauma, whether you want to admit it or not. And that's the issue. Listen, and that's that's that is I, that is that's my life. That's a lot of our lives. That's some real. That's the really. That was deep. That was deep. I don't even know if there need to be anything to be spoken about. Man, I have no that. words. No words, bro. Mm -mm. I, I, all I say is I I look at parenting different, and now parenting my my child different. Mm -hmm. Just from hearing that, because that was some of the realest. That's the realest. Yeah, I, 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 I yeah. just, I don't even know what, I have no <laughs> words to say. Bro, she was hitting on Every, everything, bro. T she was, I'm talking about nailing them, though. Nailing Nail them. Nailing them. Like, what? Like, I, I don't, I would never try to, I, now I'm just like, man, now baby, it's, not, yeah. it's like, baby, I can't, I can't be like, bro, I, I, I raise you, I do all this, and it, and it, and it. it'd be like, you right, you feel like a burden. You feel like a burden. <sighs> Yeah, to be in your your parents' house, you shouldn't feel like a burden ever. Man, ever. you, you gotta know how many kids, clip. but you know how many kids really just walking out here every day like that. They leave the house and don't. That's why you got so many kids that want to go to their friends' house, don't want to go home. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like, bro, I go home. It's hell at the house. It's hell. Yeah. You see, you said you heard hell what she said. She house. said, after I moved out of your house, how often do I see you? <sighs> Damn, that one. that one, that one is that's heavy. The, that's the that's the one, <laughs> yeah. that's him right there. Like that's him. That's him. Like what? How often do I see you? Unless I'm pulling up. Unless I'm pulling up. Yeah. How often mm. are you pulling up on me? Mm. How are you today? And da, 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 how often? How, is how that often going? are you calling? Come on. <laughs> Resent. He and then she said a lot of parents. Be, be mad because they resent having a baby by the other person. Mm -hmm, and that's yeah. why, and I'm telling you, she nailed hella shit. She nailed shit. hella shit, bro. Like, like she that's nailed not their fault. Not, not their fault. It ain't their fault. Y'all had this Never baby. They fought. You had the baby with them. Don't don't take it out on the baby. You right. know what I mean? We right. go, it goes back to taking it out on the. Mm -hmm. Man. <sighs> that's why I'm a man. very wise young woman right yeah, there. Yeah, she's man. very wise. Very, wise. very wise. 
Yeah. Our last right on, one. Man, that was crazy. That yeah, was, bro. That, 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 <laughs> that one hit. That hit, that hit bro. home, bro. That like, hit, bro. And, and that's and and that's it, man. Right. That's you've reached the call it what you want podcast. <laughs> for real. <laughs> like that hey, was for real. That though. was it. Like, Listen, we're gonna leave y'all off with that. Y'all think about that. Parents. That, that marinate for real. And for soon real. to be parents or parents, you know, if you think about having kids, think about that. Don't really? don't treat your kids. They didn't deserve. They don't deserve to be like you know be treated like that. Please, you feel me? Like don't do that to your kids, man. They not a really? burden. You shouldn't have had them if you you know. Unlearn, unlearn to relearn. Unlearn yeah. to relearn. Come on. That was a good one earlier, Saeed. Yeah, that's that's the quote. That's the quote unlearn of the day. To <laughs> relearn. That's the quote so of the day. So we gonna talk about cooking souls. I know we are not gonna probably touch on this, but. Talk about cooking souls for a little bit, man. Cooking souls, man. Yo, what's up, Tom? What's up, cooking souls? I ain't bought no shoes in a minute, hey, man. Me? You know, tap in with me, man. Cooking yeah. souls, honestly, is back, though. yeah. I'm back. I'm back in action, man. Um, honestly, like I said before, I'm just serving the people that's with me, man. That that's been rocking with me. Um, you know, what I'm saying, uh, I'm staying on top of releases. It's a little hard moving with some shit right now but um yeah man as far as releases go we got some dope shit coming man fire red threes in august um that's one mm-hmm. i'm excited for uh yeah. yellow oh. toe yellow toe ones coming in august i need them this one i need yeah, yellow toe ones coming in august uh zen master fours coming soon Damn. um october 1st you got man these almost look like the uh they call it Midnight Navy, but they look like look the, the motorsports almost. Yeah, don't they look mm. purple to you? Man, or am I, am nah, I tripping? Nah, it's, blue, it's midnight. Yeah, it's yeah, midnight blue. blue. It's a navy blue, that's but a it's a uh, a little bit lighter. You wow. got the motorsports right there, so you know that's a, a nice one mm, right there. Yeah. Uh, the reimagined white cements, yeah. Uh, those coming next year, 2023. That's mm-hmm. another one to have. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, we do got the fire red threes. That's a another OG re release. Uh, that's coming out. Nah, that so, bronze uh, right there go crazy. The bronze, okay. yeah, bro. I've been seeing a lot of those, bro. The bronze go crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Twenty of yeah. those, man, bro. Those trash. Them stealth twelve. Yeah, <laughs> stealth twelve. Nobody's, nobody's copping those. Fire red, threes. Uh, fire red threes. That's probably a big one. Uh, the reimagined ones coming. Mm, what is um, the oh no? Nah. Fives. Cortex fives. Uh, I think those are in women only this year, right? Yeah. Or next year. So. I'm not really a fan. Yeah. Pebble, Fruity Dunks. Pebble, Braun, SBs, Dunks. or Dunks. Those are hard. Um, I think since we on here, uh, shout out to my peoples at Holy Sneaks, Holy Sneakers. My boy Josh, uh, be sure to go follow them. Uh, HS dot Los Angeles mm-hmm. Holy Sneakers. Go ahead and uh, tune in to some of the raffles my boy be having. I did score a pair of the Philly Dunks Ooh. SB Dunks for sixty bucks. You know what I'm saying. Mm. So try your look at the raffle if you got it. <laughs> Saying shout out to Holy Sneaks. Um, oh, them, them orange joints, them Halloweens. Yeah, I like orange. Yeah. You know, I mean, I don't know. They they, they cool. Them right? penny joints you copped is heat, boy. Oh uh, yeah, I got both both colorways. Man, them, they dropping on the sneakers <laughs> app soon. Look Man, out for those for all the real sneaker heads out there, not just ones and fours. Right. For my real sneaker heads out there, we got the uh the penny social status collapse. Mm. Uh they will be releasing those sneakers. You already missed the social sli- uh the social status drop if you were trying to get them. So, you know, sneakers is where it's at to get them. Uh July 22nd. July 22nd. Is the penny still coming. available right now? The ones that just dropped? Nah, they're not available not until the 22nd. They're going to drop on the uh on the sneakers app. Mm. You might be able to find the, you know, the the regular joints, but that's the collabs. Yeah, yeah I got both of them. For all my women sneakerheads out there, y'all got some heat coming. Them taxi yellow, uh, the eights. Mm. I'm kind of digging those, man. Eights. I'm a fan of the eights. I like though. I know Banco's a big fan of the eights. Yeah, I like them you know eights. Them eights is eights don't be dropping a lot though. Nah, bro, they need to push the nah, agenda, bro. Yeah, bro. I already They're got hard. Yeah, I already got I one on the twos. You see, my boy Q like, said he liked the twos. Now he got the twos. He, he got he won got, the he, he got the, the unions. unions. Yeah, bro. Oh, that comfortable. Yeah. yeah, bro. The twos. Uh, yeah. Shit, we got the they they got an image of the 
Them fire. The Chicago we, twos that just dropped. You think we could get them? Them bro, black and yellow uh, hat, them, them hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie. They avail these are available on sneakers right now. Which yeah. one? Them? Yeah. Oh damn, sold out though. Damn. I'm, you could get your size and size swap. Hmm. I have to put a little extra on top. But it saves you two hundred and twenty five dollars. That's facts. Facts. Yeah, man. Cooking souls. I'm sorry. What else? Man, uh, Philly Dunks releasing on the twenty six. Sneakers app, Philly Dunks. Mm. Uh, be sure to tap in those as he. Bro, I want them. Uh, I want them. Them black and yellow eights, bro. Oh, I'm. Let me see. You say you a size ten, right? Ten, 10 and a half. half. You oh. might be able to rock that twelve women, my boy. They got the twelve women. Yeah, I'm sure it's dropping in the twelve women. Yeah, bro. Yeah, these the here right women. here, the twenty six, the Philly Dunks. Go grab them. You know what I'm saying? Or try to grab them. Oh, that part. You know, all the try. features in it is dope. Uh, the left shoe got the bubble gum on the right side. The bubble gum stain. You got the hot dog on the inside of the left tongue. You got the Liberty Bell on the inside of the right tongue. Oh, dope little that's features. Hard. That's yeah. that's stupid. You know what I'm I think it's yeah, the a, details uh, on them is hard. I think it's a Giants one coming out. Right? Yeah, it's a Giants one yeah. coming it's too. A yeah. Giants SB for real. The yep. black and orange ones. Let me see them, bro. I might have to get them. On my LA natives, man, I know y'all ready for these though. The, on July nineteenth, the Jackie Robinson joints is dropping. Ooh. The Dodger joints. Hey, shout out to the Jackie to the little thing yesterday, man. That shit was going up. Oh yeah, Robinson. how was that, bro? The MLB, the bro. I got them tickets. They free, bro. Y'all oh, need yeah. to go take, yeah, man. Need to go. Them is heat, bro. Yeah, them them is heat. I need uh, them. Them gonna be hard to score. I'll pass because huh? it's Giants. But no, you can't saying. be like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm copying got the them. little boat. <laughs> oh, yeah, that yeah. shit dope. Love. The, these the Willie Mays joints. They should have the Willie Mays. Oh, they got the bubble gum on them too. Mm-hmm. Is that gonna be hard to score, man, bro? I try to all score the SB them? dunks be. Man, like I said though, man, game. hey, look, follow my boy HS Dog Los Angeles, man. Look, I ain't gonna yeah, steer you wrong rapper. with this one, man. He get them early. He get all his dunks early. Everything he get it early. He had the off white mids early. He get them early, man. Tap in, join the raffle. Let him know Cooking Soul sent you. It's my boy Josh. Shout out to Josh. Holy sneaks. Facts. Them stupid, bro. Crazy. I mean, this LA. I feel like they'll still be around. Don't nobody want them in LA. Nah, bro. It's, it's they used to still get them, huh? Yeah, this is a community, man. It's a the SB community. The, the, the shoe community is crazy, bro. Ain't nothing going. We not gonna let nothing fall through our hands, bro. Yeah. What else we got coming, man? Yeah, I think, I think as far as heat, stupid. that's it, man. You know, Bart Simpsons. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm working on those. I'm working on those. Those go stupid, bro. Sure. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Um, the Fruity Pebbles pack, pull those up, bro. That's that's one to have too. If y'all into dunks, SB dunks, the Fruity Pebble pack. Most of them already dropped already, but it's the uh, hard silhouettes. Them hard, them, them lime green ones. Yeah, yeah green ones apple. Go crazy. There's apple, raspberry, and cherry. I like um, that apple. Uh, one. the high, the high yellow is pineapple. I like them pineapples and them yeah. apples. Yeah, them apples and yeah, apples yes. and bananas. You'll be set with that one. Different colorways, you know what I'm saying? Something to go with each and every fit. I just recently got my first pair of dunks. Yeah, what you pick up? The scrap the joints? Scrap, yeah, show them the scraps. I showed oh, time. Oh, the yeah, day. yeah, I know what you're talking so about. Icy, he was like, boy. bro, time in. Yeah, man, Austin. so icy, dog. I ain't never. It was my first. Oh, was so was like, see, yeah, yeah. The orange, the orange, the, like, well, the orange bro, back. Them is fire. <laughs> Which ones Where he got? Them? He got them right there. Yeah. Which ones? Nah, right there. Where? Ain't the, that the one? No, the right there, right there, right there. Right there, right there yeah. Them oh right yeah, there. those heat. And the ones right. I got. Yeah, first pair of dunks, man. Yeah, man. Shit. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get right now. I gotta it's start the, copping them. That's what's saying right now, dunks, man. Dunks. You know what I'm saying? Trainers is popping too, you know, so. Yeah. You know, about to be on them. Ass be on your trainers. About to be on them too. But yeah, mm. man. That's pretty much it with Cookie Soul, man. Look, if y'all need anything, once again, tap in with me, bro. I got you. Um, I get what I can when I can. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yes, sir, man. But yeah, man. You already know, man. You you reach the call it what you want podcast. Your boy Saeed. It's your boy Time. It's your boy Tone. Van Gogh. And yeah, man. Shout out to uh SSO. Um, shout out to Time's Eye. Shout out to uh everybody, uh Behind the Lens Media. Um, shout out to Live in Paradise. We can shout out, shout out all the shout whole out team. The whole we always team, say that, but you feel me? these is all our businesses. Shout out to Q. Uh, shout yeah. out to Knox. Yeah, for sure. Our brothers that are, weren't were missing today, but here in spirit. We're going to tap back in with y'all ASAP. Peace and love. Uh, yes, sir. I'm hungry. <laughs>